we would like as many people as possible to join Big Green Net Zero to, to send a message to COP26. You'll see a farmer will have written COP26 with his tractor on the beach and we will all assemble on those letters with our umbrellas up whilst a drone um, takes a, photo, a video of us doing that. And this will be a really visual message to those at COP26 that the people of South Hams want urgent action on climate change. We're getting people to think about um, about their, their measuring their carbon footprint um, and also the, the importance of that in terms of um, biodiversity. So our situation obviously by the sea um, and we'll have the marine mammals as part of the uh, procession as well as um, visitors and um, residents of, of Big Bree in the surrounding areas. Can you tell me a little bit more about Big Bree um, Zero as well? What, what exactly are you doing at the moment? So Big Bree Net Zero is a new climate change group. It's a community group and we have only been together now about three months and we are trying to get information out to uh, local people, not just in Bigbury, but in local parishes too, to encourage them to measure their carbon footprint and look as communities towards um, potential projects that will make a difference to climate change, such as um, looking at community compost schemes, um, making sure that everybody does know how to reuse, recycle, and reduce their consumption of things, um, and possibly even renewable energy projects. There are many wonderful examples locally of people who've been able to do such projects in AONB areas. So we are um, aiming to communicate uh, as much information as we can to people so that they can use it in their decision making. Uh, Newton and Nos Mayo parish have actually got the full support of their parish council and together as a community they've set up the Yelm Energy Community Energy Project uh, which is a ground-based um, solar energy project uh, and it not only feeds energy into the local community but I believe it's raised something like £50,000 income from that initiative which goes back into the local community so you know there are a number of um, projects like that which are inspirational and which we want to learn from uh, as well as um, some very useful community composting schemes um, all of this and lo um, local buying local as well that's a, a, an important issue making sure that you're aware of your local suppliers, your local shop, and um, you buy as much product as you can from local sources. So we're in the process now of um, uh, getting all this information together because it's not available easily and communicating that to people who will need to know if they're measuring their carbon footprint and trying to do something extra.